हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू अवर यूट्यूब चैनल आई एम डॉक्टर नशा भटनागर मेडिकल डायरेक्टर अवेया फर्टिलिटी एंड आईवीएफ सेंटर टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट्स थिन एंडोमेट्रियम सो बिफोर मूविंग ऑन टू थिन एंडोमेट्रियम लेट्स सी व्हाट इज एंडोमेट्रियम सो वट यू सी हेयर इज मॉडल ऑफ यूट्रिस यूट्रिस इज मेड अप ऑफ थ्री लेयर्स द आउटर इज सिरोजा द इनर इज मस्कुलर माओमीट्रियम and the innermost is endometrium endometrium itself is made up of three layers the two superficial layers shed out during the menses and the third layer is responsible for making it grow as a response to the hormones so what i mean is that at the beginning of the cycle on the day 2 or 3 you will see that the endometrium is very very thin as the egg grows it secretes a hormone estrogen which acts on the endometrium the endometrium grows and become 8 to 12 mm in the middle of the cycle too much of thick endometrium is also not good after the egg matures it ruptures it secretes another hormone progesterone which acts on the lining and makes it more vascular makes it ready for implantation of the embryo if the pregnancy doesn't happen the hormones are withdrawn and the bleeding happens menstruation happens and the two super uh, superficial layers shed out and the third layer which is the basal layer is remaining and it again responses to the hormone and grows to be it thick in the next cycle the cyclical event repeats itself in response to the hormones from the ovary so basically any kind of infection any std sexually transmitted disease or tuberculosis or any kind of infection which has happened in the uterus or in the uh, pelvic cavity may cause thin endometrium second most important cause is any dnc or any surgery done which sometime causes curating of the basal layer and leads to thin endometrium sometimes because of this uh, curating there might be adhesions inside the uterine cavity these adhesions do not let the endometrium open for example think of a balloon if a balloon has a adhesion inside if you try to blow and make it thick it will not so the adhesions sometimes are responsible for causing thin endometrium any kind of uh, previous surgery or anything done may lead to this kind any medical termination of pregnancy which has gone bad and resulted in infection may also cause thin endometrium sometimes the reason for thin endometrium is functional that means that the egg is not secreting sufficient amount of estrogen which acts on the lining and makes it thick in this it is not the uterus which is responsible it is the egg which is not sufficient which is not producing enough estrogen which can make the endometrium thick there is a simple test if you give progynova to the patient and the patient has a beautiful triple line endometrium the cause may not be the uterus the cause may be the egg sometimes the cause may be iatrogenic that means that you are if you were taking oc pills for a very long duration then the endometrium may become thin sometimes the doctors give you clomiphene citrate which is a tablet to make ovulation to make your eggs grow clomid is a, a selective estrogen receptor modulator so it acts on the endometrium and makes it thin that doesn't mean that it acts it happens in all the people but some people are very sensitive and in these patients if clomid is given especially in a very high dose then it makes the endometrium thin so these are the possible causes of thin endometrium so how to know that you have thin endometrium basically the endometrium as i already explained is cyclical so you need to get a mid cycle scan done around 12 to 14 day of your cycle and if the endometrium is more than 7 mm that means that you don't have thin endometrium another question mostly patients ask is can i get pregnant with thin endometrium here i want to tell you one fact that endometrium is the most essential component of a good and healthy pregnancy endometrium is required for implantation first for the embryo to grow for good placentation and for good blood supply to the growing embryo research has shown that a endometrium thickness less than 7 mm is associated with more chances of miscarriages abortion and less chances of a live birth rate it is associated mostly with negative result so a thick endometrium more than 7 mm is the most essential component of a good live healthy pregnancy now what we can do to make it thick 
this is the most important uh, point we need to consider the treatment of thin endometrium so the treatment depends upon the cause of thin endometrium if the cause is the egg quality deficient estrogen supply then you can work on giving uh, or iatrogenic like clomiphene citrate then we can support it with uh, estrogen estradiol well rate or various medication to make it thick if the cause is some infections or dnc then you need to go for a hysteroscopy where we put a camera inside the endometrial cavity we see if there are some adhesions inside we take a sample of the endometrium we send it for testing of uh, infections and for tuberculosis and if it comes positive for tuberculosis we need to give treatment for tuberculosis if the reason is damaged basal layer then that is very very difficult to treat there are various modalities like gcsf stem cell therapy or various medications which can be given for a period of 3 to 6 months to see if the patient recovers from thin endometrium in some patients what happens is that that they do not respond well to the estrogen therapy and because of giving estrogen also the endometrium becomes thin the patient do not the absorption of estrogen is not sufficient or something so in these patients we plan a natural cycle we do it we do the transfer as a frozen embryo transfer but instead of doing a hrt cycle we do a natural cycle transfer where the egg secretes enough uh, amount of estradiol it makes the lining good we trigger at the right point of time and then it secretes the progesterone and the success rate with this natural cycle is much much higher than a hrt frozen embryo transfer cycle so that can also be done to increase your chances of success for a uh, for implantation also you need to understand that the endometrium is not only uh, one just thin there are various factors to the endometrium when we assess the endometrium we assess the thickness of the endometrium we assess the appearance of the endometrium whether it is hypoechoic we assess whether there are some polyps or something inside the endometrium we assess the appearance as well as the blood supply to the endometrium there are various zones of endometrium where you can assess on scan that the blood flow is zone 1 zone 2 zone 3 zone 4 a blood supply to zone 4 is associated with a increased chance of pregnancy if there are any polyps or anything that needs to be removed if there are some adhesion that needs to be removed before planning a transfer inside the cavity now coming to the natural ways of enhancing the endometrial uh, thickness and vascularity there are things which we you can do to increase the uh, thickness of the endometrium for example yoga exercise there is uh, there are supplements like vitamin e l arginine which you can take there are things like acupressure and acupuncture which can be done to increase the blood flow to the uterine cavity which increases the appearance as well as vascularity of the endometrium last but not the least if you are not uh, if you don't develop a thick endometrium even with all these modalities you have tried a natural cycle transfer also in cases like this you might need to opt for a surrogacy that's all for thin endometrium if you have any other questions or you want to know more about thin endometrium please feel free to contact us on the numbers given below thank you so much